Hey yarn friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. Phoebe. Phoebe's about to have a fit to get her treat. Um, she is so ready, aren't you, baby? Oh, today is day 21 of the Advent Yarn baggies that I'm opening. And Phoebe is opening her treat every day. And she's like, yes, yes, treat, I'm ready. <laughs> So, I'm going to let Phoebe get hers. <clears throat> you ready? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Can you find it? All right. <clears throat> yeah, she's been waiting on that treat. It's okay. Okay, and so, um, I have a cough drop in my mouth, so excuse me, but I was hoping it would help me not to cough. And I'm going to open my day 21 baggie. Maybe that's all. There's nothing else over there, baby. And so, let's see what I have here. Oh! Some red, bulky, chunky yarn. Um, looks like that, maybe that Bernat Softy or something, red, so that's like a great stocking. And then the other thing in here is a little notebook that says, life is sweet. And that is so cool that that was in there. Oh, oh, wait a minute, it has little pages. <laughs> Things that make life sweet. You can write things down. Doodles. Today I thought about dreams and goals. Doodles. To do. Notes. Don't forget. Doodles. Sugary sweet things. My sweet dreams. Happy thoughts. Aloha. Places I want to see, and then some lined pages, and then I think it kind of starts over, maybe. I'll just kind of flip through and show you. Oh, Phoebe. Here's some, um, and I have some uh, gel pens that will probably show up good on those brown papers, and then... Then it's some, just some white lined paper, and then it starts the brown papers over. I'm not sure if they're exactly the same. I'm thinking they probably are. That is cute. I like that. And that's really, that's really neat that this little notebook was in here, because you know what? Um, all yesterday and all last night, and today so far, I've been thinking about my notebooks for two thousand for 2020 so that is really cool <laughs> that is just be a little note another little notebook that i write in this year and so um i've been thinking about my notebooks and what planning and such that i'm gonna do for um things for 2020 um i have several notebooks that i keep up with already like i have my notebooks down here from this past year like my menu just my calendar where I keep up with everybody's schedule and appointments and what we have going on. Not that I need to keep up with their stuff. Like, I don't need to keep up with Dakota's appointments. He's, you know, he can tend to his own appointments. But I need to keep up with it so I know what's going on so I don't overbook him for something. Or, you know, it's just knowing what, where everybody's going to be every day. And then... um I have a shopping list notebook, I have a menu notebook, and then I have a shopping list notebook, and um, just several other notebooks down here, a prayer journal, and just um, things like that. So, um, I've been thinking about my 2020 notebooks, and so that's kind of cool that I got a notebook today, after I've been thinking about notebooks for the last two days. Cool. So anyway, and if anybody would like to see a video about my notebooks as I get on into planning the ne next week after Christmas Day. I'm going to be um, setting up my notebooks for January. If anybody wants to see 
videos on that or just know more about what I'm doing, let me know in the comments below and um, I can record that as I'm doing it. Um, I do have some cards to share today and um, Phoebe's got me thrown off just sitting there just staring me down. <laughs> Plus, I'm thrown off because um, it's really cool about the notebook. Okay, so um, I got this beautiful card with a beautiful say, or a beautiful poem thing that she printed out and taped on the inside. This is from Lottie. Lottie's YouTube is enjoying the journey, cancer as a lifestyle, and so I've been watching Lottie for a good while I don't know how long it, it's been a good while that I've been watching her and so um, probably probably since she started her channel I don't know no maybe because I think I did go back and watch previous videos when I did find her channel but anyway um, I enjoy Lottie's uh, videos and she shares you know like different things that she finds and so um, it's just a pretty card it says Noel Thank you so much, Lottie. I appreciate you thinking about me. That was so sweet. And then, let's see. Um, this card came from... This card right here is cute. And it came in a package with something else. So, let me show you the front of the card first. Isn't that cute? The bells around the dog's neck. Okay, I'm a sucker for dogs. <laughs> um, okay, so this says Merry Christmas, Kayla and Phoebe. And so she wrote something in here to me. And this is from Christy. And Christy's YouTube channel is Crochet Creations by Christy. So, and she also has a Facebook group. But anyway, so she sent me this card. And she sent me some treats. And they're mostly still here. <laughs> I think I ate a Kit Kat joke bar. Kit Kat bar, and Elijah might have ate um, a hot cocoa kiss, but anyway, so there's my treats, that was very sweet, and also, she and her dog, his name is Izzy, and they sent Phoebe some treats, so um, these will last Phoebe for a little while, and I, pr I probably won't give her one every day, probably, you know, once every two or three days so that'll last her for a little while and I'll put them down here in her treat drawer <laughs> she went over there and got under her in her bed under her blanket and she, she <laughs> she's poked her head out the blanket looking at me because I was talking about her and saying her name she's so funny but thank you so much Christy and Izzy we appreciate those and I'll let you know how Phoebe likes those treats Okay, and another card here I have from Irene, and it is a beautiful card, a Thomas Kincaid card. I'll show you the front of it. It's very pretty. And then on the inside, she taped this beautiful snowflake ornament that is just very, very beautiful. So I'm going to add that to my little tree in here where I was putting my yarn-made ornaments. So if you can see the details on that, it's very, very pretty. <coughs> and then she wrote a little note in here, but thank you so much, Irene. That is very special. I'll always remember that this came from you. And the little beads there, you know, look like a little angel. So that is very, very cute. I can't wait to hang that on my tree. And then I have another card here from Melissa Perez. And um, she wrote in it, um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And um, it says, I wish you a Merry Christmas on this stocking. Very cute card. I love that. And then she added this little sticker. Um, it's a sticker, but it's kind of like a name tag thing. And I guess she just saw that and probably thought, you know, I liked that. So, which I do. It's really cute. 
<clears throat> it's a little llama. It's got a place to put two of them from. I think I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to put that in one of my notebooks and then write a little note that it was from Melissa. That's what I'll do. I'll just put it in one of my little planner notebooks and write that it was from Melissa. And then I'll remember that. So thank you very much. Okay. Um, I think there might be a couple. Another card. Okay, that's the one Connie's was in. I already took it out. Okay, and then here's one last card that is from Shelly. And her YouTube channel is Shelly's Sassy Stitches. And if you um, haven't met Sassy Shelly, you can go on over to her channel and meet her. It's a wonderland, and the dog has on a cowl. Isn't that cute? So cute. So, so cute. And uh, she wrote a little note in here. Hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, Shelly's Sassy Stitches. From from Shelly, it's Shelly Sassy Stitches and Mr. Sassy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, Miss Phoebe thought, thought she was sassy in those pajamas that she had on oh, in yesterday's video. But anyway, thank you. Thank you so much for the cards. I appreciate them so very much. I can't wait to add these to my door. And um, I'm a little behind on making my stockings, so I'll, I'm probably going to get those made up today, though. Because <clears throat> guess what? I am home today. I don't have to go nowhere. I'm not getting in that car for no reason. I don't care what happens. I'm not getting in a car today. <clears throat> I'm so thankful that I don't have to go anywhere today and I can stay home. I can get caught up on my little stockings and get them up. Oh, I have so many things I need to get caught up on, but guess what? I'm not even going to fret over anything. I'm going to get those up and probably nap a lot today. <laughs> I do have a couple items I was trying to get done to give the guys for Christmas. And um, if I get them done, I get them done. If I don't, I don't. I'm not even going to worry about it. Because I have just been dealing with um, health issues. And um, honestly, um, I just need I need a day of rest. And just let my body rest and heal. And um, try to get over this little hump that I'm in. So um, that's my plan for today. I hope you all have a blessed day, and um, I hope you're all ready for Christmas. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I'm probably going to, oh, yeah, I'm probably going to, like, drill over my notebooks and think about what I'm going to do in my notebooks this for this 2020. And do any of y'all pick a word for the year? Um... I've been doing that for many years since my kids were really little because I used to try to get them to set goals and pick a word for the year that um, was going to represent their year or something for them to focus on. We did that kind of in our homeschooling and um, just kind of a way to get them to write and then pick goals and write about their goals and stuff. And so we've, we've always done that. And so I... Uh, am mulling over my word for the year, which I think is going to be priority. I need to prioritize some things in my life. Actually, um, my life is out of control. <laughs> oh, it really is. I'm not even joking about that. But, um, and I need to get back on top of some things that I've let slide and haven't been paying the right amount of attention to in my home. And so, um, yeah, I need to get um, back on top of things. Just, you know, when you have health issues and you never know when you're going to be sick and down and it's kind of hard to stay on top of things. And so um, we need to do some deep cleaning around here and get things in order and uh, get rid of some of the chaos that's going on around here and halfway doing stuff. <laughs> 
but anyway, so that's my focus for this year is to um, prioritize my things in my life and um, just buckle down and get things done, I guess. But anyway, I appreciate you all so very much. And I thank you for watching and spending your time with me. I know there's plenty, plenty of channels out there you could be watching instead of me. And I appreciate you clicking on to visit with me for, you know, 10, 15 minutes a day. Some days it's shorter than that. But anyway, I will see you all again very soon. And I hope you all have a very blessed day.